Okay, in studio at the Alive Cafe today, we have our mobile podcast, and that is with the Musenberg Festival 2014, which is, of course is part of the Cape Town Design Capital 2014. With me, I have Justin Maxwell. Justin's very much involved in the whole Musenberg Festival and uh, the whole organization, and we've brought him in studio to chat a bit about uh, Musenberg Festival. What is it all about? Hello, Wayne. Hi. So it's good to be here. Um, uh, Musenberg Festival is a is an exciting uh, model of drawing community together, um, drawing out of this community its creativity, its hidden secrets, um, and celebrating, celebrating who we are, what we love to do, um, and and as we do that, we showcase it. Um, and we invite others to join us in celebrating who we are. The, um, but the, the whole yeah. process, is, it's come from within the community because so mm. often a committee gets together, we're going to organize a festival. But something unique about this is that mm. it's all moved from the bottom up and not mm. from top down, which is quite different to the way uh, festivals are usually organized. Yes, yes. Um, it grew out of a street party a couple of years ago. Um, and for a couple of years before that, there was a sort of a celebration happening on the street. Low-key, small Musenberg people having some fun. And, um, and about 18 months ago, Claire brought that idea forward and a group of us um, joined around her saying, yes, let's, let's expand on this, but not, um, as you say, not our, our idea imposed on Musenberg, but let's explore and eke out of Musenberg um, what they want to do, what they want to celebrate. And very much a open source festival. Um, it's happening all over Musenberg. It's not one venue. The reason for that is the open source structure. And people were given an opportunity to uh, come with an idea that, was, that fitted into sort of three categories. One was the celebration of Musenberg, um, performing arts, music, drama, words, um, carnival, street parade, kids dancing, belly dancers, that sort of celebratory space. Um, there's going to be a feast um, and, um, and after parties and that sort of thing. Um, or we could expose and celebrate the level of made in Musenberg, the productivity mm. of the people. We've got a tremendous number of crafters and people who are designing and, and, and doing art. That's one of the remarkable things that we've discovered coming mm. out of the whole uh, festival the project leading up, up to it how many creatives there actually mm. are in Musenberg it's been mm. phenomenal yeah uh, we put the word out in, in sort of s late September last year and in December or October even and in December we launched a made in Musenberg branding um, we had a we had a craft day um, market in the live cafe end of December uh, 22 stalls with, with crafters selling their wares and showing what they do and actually practicing in, um, during the market. Um, and once we had done that, we had a flood of people coming to us and saying, yeah, what about me? And I also, and can I participate? And when's the next one? And we realized we hadn't scratched the surface. I mean, 22, there must be, you know, there must be a fifth of, of what's actually happening in, in Greater Musenberg. Right. Now, one of the remarkable things or one of the things I've discovered over the years with my experience is that when there are committees, things just don't work and conflict is one of the things that seems to raise its head. And this has been remarkably free of conflict. What has been the success story of a bunch of people working together? Mm. I think, I think the, the value that we placed on the, on the connecting as a committee from the word go and we resisted the temptation to jump into logistics and getting down to the practical organizing of an event because we understood it to be more than an event. The event is actually only two-thirds of the way through our process and, and as we roll into next year's festival event, again, that's just a celebration of a much deeper process. So we spent months uh, working together in the design, design of relating, design of the structure of 
uh, how we were going to organize the festival, um, the intentions, the heart space we called it. And only after we had a synergy and then the pressure rising from within and without to get to the organizing and the logistics did we transition into the, the committee now which looks slightly different to the heart group that started um, with common threads obviously um, then we got got it stuck in with all the logistics and the organizing aspect of of the festival now Another aspect of this is that although it has been designed, the whole process to uh, arrive, everything to come to a climax with the festival, that is not the actual climax mm. because this seems to be, from what I can gather, it is just the beginning of the momentum that it's gained now. Yeah. It's going to move forward with a whole bunch of projects, sustainable projects, people, uh, community initiatives. Tell us a bit about that. So to, to share about that, uh, I need to just explain the three layers of de- uh, that are of the festival which are built into the design. At the top, we've spoken about the celebratory aspect of it, which occurs over a week um, or two weeks in October. We've also spoken about the Made in Musenberg, which speaks to the local economy and drawing people together to strengthen our marketing of product made in Musenberg and therefore boost uh, that level. Um, and underneath that is what we call des- creating Musenberg. And that is about um, bringing to awareness what we want to live in the future, which, as you mentioned, sustainability. Mm. So those projects take much longer to embed and establish and build. Community Garden, for example, we've been engaging in processes to use a piece of land in Musenberg. We've gotten four fifths of the way down the road. Nothing's been planted yet, but a huge amount of process has occurred. Um, An awareness around recycling, discussions and meetings and understandings of systems and building a team around uh, who want to implement a recycling project for all around Musenberg. Um, A consumers cooperative where people are getting together to say, how do we bring healthy foods and healthy products to our door and avoid all the middlemen and the transport and the Mm. carbon footprint and and we want organic clean food Um, water projects how do we re-engage with these these streams and rivers coming off the mountain that are now channeled underground and into the sea and so there's ideas and designs and discussions that are taking place around the use of water and capturing that water for our use clean water into Musenberg Um, so you're right the those projects um, that all speak to being Musenberg. This is all about us, really. Mm. Um, and in that, we have what we might call a, a celebratory model of socioeconomic transformation. And two thirds of the way, or even as you say, at the beginning, we're celebrating who we are, what we have knowing that there are these deeper processes that are underway that are going to bear fruits in the future. So this is a blast off, not an arrival. Uh, thank you, yes. And I think we're going to have a, something of a, an explosive celebration every year as these projects just keep embedding and keep um, growing deeper and deeper. Right, I, I know with this very uh, podcast and hellomusenberg.com website, this is just the beginning. Mm. I mean, you, you've got to start s- somewhere. Yep. So, um, n- now the, the whole event that's taking place, how have you found that it has built community? Because that's one of the whole focuses. It's not the end product. It's mm. if you don't get an end product, that you've all worked together, become closer, the stronger community, that in itself is worth mm. it. Yes, a deep intention and part of the design is community and building lasting relationships. Um, Again, the the long 18-month process to get to this week um, involved a lot of dialogue, a lot of meetings here um, with 60-plus people, coming up with ideas, exploring design, um, sharing projects that have begun or starting trying things um, uh, I noticed and that, that, that builds common history even just meeting and discussing and that, that's part of the process that we, that we want I noticed there's also been various levels of engagement by the community some people have sort of just got in and helped a little bit while others have sort of given their lives but mm. it doesn't really matter if you're giving your life or you're just a little bit everyone is welcome mm. you're not looked down upon because you've only given a little mm. nor are you elevated because you've given a lot no. it's, it's that you have actually taken yeah. one step 
into the process. Mm. I, I think that's the, that's, that's, I, I guess that's part of the, the underlying uh, value in open source technology, open source internet work, open source festivals, um, that, that one can't claim a kudos. Mm. Um, yes, there's a, there's a tight group of people that have spent a lot of time doing some of the logistics. And, and, in it, and what we understand is that that is one of the projects of mm. the Musenberg Festival is the Musenberg Festival. So you have a group of people that have committed themselves to a project of other projects. Right. So the Musenberg Festival isn't an overarching structure. It's one project amongst many. It, mm. it stands next to Mosaic Musenberg, um, putting mosaic fish on outside of walled properties, all swimming towards the sea. I mean, what a delightful experience to walk through the village now. Um, the... Uh, the draw by the shore, um, Andy Mason's project of bringing people from um, underprivileged or previously disadvantaged spaces with privileged spaces and, and getting youngsters to pair up and cartoon their lives. This wonderful in motion dynamic uh, process of building relationships, but also with a product that then expresses and shares and celebrates mm. that process. So the Museum Book Festival isn't more than any one of those ideas or those projects. I think for me as part of Musenberg, as a, as a member of the community, the exciting part of this is not the climax. So often you've been to a really exciting festival or show or something like that, then it stops and there's sort of a, a letdown mm. and anti-climax. You feel, oh, that was so great. I can't wait for next year's one. But I think with this process, it doesn't stop. Mm. I'm still going to be just involved as I was with the festival. We're not talking logistics now. We're talking about our projects and moving forward into the future. Exactly. We've always encouraged people to choose something that they love and choose something they're already involved in or they want to be involved in so that it's not that. It's not a huge effort for one event and then there's that sort of depression afterwards um, and then a, a, a somebody I'm going to get involved with somebody else's project next mm. year no already a discussion today Musenberg dialogues taking place bringing people in a in a coffee shop in Palmer Road uh, together just to discuss issues to, mm. uh, that, that arise in the community um, people saying gosh you know um, maybe next week we can get together and discuss further this idea of of building an understanding of how a community makes decisions mm. uh, without getting stuck into all the bureaucratic sort of governance uh, of the city. So, so yeah, you're right. This hasn't, it's not the end. These, this is just planting seeds. This is watering plants, young plants. And people are talking about what they're going to do next week mm. in the line of what they love doing and, and right. what they want to, to be involved in. And the, and the whole key, as you've already said, is sustainability. And the way you sustain something is, number, get the person's genius, their passion, mm. and get, it all, get it, their, their, their skills and their giftings. When you've got them working in that area, mm. it, that in itself is going to be sustainable. Mm. sustainable. You're going to have the lulls and the, mm. the highs, but it will continue. It's not going to have just one big burst of, mm. of excitement and then, bang, it, it goes. Yeah. Uh, this is very much a celebration of the amazing individuals on the planet, people. All people have a have a spark of life, have a have a creativity mm. in one form or another, have a have a way to participate and contribute. And it's in that collaboration that where we where we give we're serving in collaboration. There's a sense of service to another or to the community, but also receiving. It's very right. important to have an immediate feedback where it's beneficial to me. Um, and so we we hold people in their discovery of what it is that they bring, that is their spark. And then we try and nurture our, um, support around the forming of that idea and embedding it in something practical. I, I think that one of the exciting things for me through the whole process and what's going on in Musenberg is, is we've got so many peop different people of cultures and creeds and faiths. Mm. And you don't, have to, you don't have to compromise. You don't have to say, well, I've got to be more like you. No, I can be my individual self. I can believe whatever religion I want to, whatever mm. cultural understanding. No one's going to look down on me. Mm. And we can chat, we can mm. integrate, we can mm. uh, collaborate without <laughs> that fear of someone going to exactly. say, well, you're wrong. I, I mean, clearly, you live in Musenberg. The, the, uh, when I arrived a few years ago, 
there was a, a deep sense of tolerance for diversity. Mm. Um, and I think what's, uh, that, that's already exciting. Yeah. Um, and that's already part of who we are in this village. And I mean, it happens in other spaces, obviously. Um, and what I've seen through this process of engaging is that we may even be evolving from tolerance to embracing because mm. it's no longer just putting up with, but it's participating and collaborating um, and, yeah, it's embracing. Right. Well, Justin, thanks so much for chatting with us. We, we will have you back after the festival and just see the results and, and how things are, are, are moving forward. Mm. Maybe on a regular basis we'll keep on chatting and engaging to see just how the process has moved on from one point to the next. Thank you so much for joining us. Wayne, and thank you. This is a fantastic project and I love the other projects you're doing and it's, a, it's a very exciting to be sitting here with you. Thank if you. I don't have a project, I'll die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Go so well, much. Friend. Cheers, everyone. And that's uh, Justin Maxwell, our very first Hello Musenberg Festival podcast. That's video and audio. And we're going to have a lot of other interesting people. Thank you. Cheers.